No one is bad episode 6. We are going to be walking through the last 72 hours of Madden 23. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But before that, we do have to say goodbye to some club legends, including Jesse Bates, which we sold for 89k. Jordan uh, Malata for 127. Don't know how to pronounce that. And Amani Oruare, the longtime team captain for 183k. We also did quick sell that Micah Parsons for 65k that we bought for 60k. All these sales, though, were the result of prices being inflated, and I kind of knew we'd be able to replace them with much cheaper options at the same overall. Starting out on Thursday, Campus Hero release day, and it was crazy. If you remember from the last episode, we had made a 2.5 million coin investment into training involving three different overalls. 83s we bought for under 13k, 84s we bought under 20k, and finally 85s under 30,000 coins. But now the day has come and our job is to maximize the profit of those said investments. To break it down, we went two separate routes. We ended up quick selling all 83s and all 85s to roll the 80 plus campus hero reroll. Now I know what you're thinking, slow down. You've heard me probably say in the past, I hate rerolls, but this was a small exception. Market wise, I could have sold the 83s for 18k and the 85s for 40k both of those values after tax are right at around 25.7 per where again we were buying around that 20 20.5 range meanwhile 84s were selling for 30k being around 27.8 per so 84s were the best cards to sell off making me the most profit on the training investment the only reason i actually ended up quick selling the 83s and 85s was because the 80 overall campus heroes were going for 9k in the morning and the 85s are going for 35k, making it a very low risk, high reward reroll for the price I'm putting into the roll. It also did help that our first 10k training batch, we did pull the 90 overall Crabtree on the last actual pack. So yeah, that kind of had me hooked. And while I was locked in on selling the 84s for straight profit, I wasn't going to say no to some low risk, high reward rerolls, especially if they're seeing a 90 overall in the first 15 rolls. We ended up rolling a total of 50k training with all the 83s and all the 85s I had, which included a 90 overall Crabtree, of course, an 87 Keith Jackson, well, 90 overall LTD Ricky Williams. I would have played the live reaction, but at the time I was eating breakfast on stream. It was very early in also, I've been told to plug this. I do stream on Twitch usually four to five times per week on iJoe Bruin on there. So check in on, you know, the Twitch, the stream. But yeah, I had no reaction. So you get no reaction on this video. We ended up selling the Crabtree for 400K, Keith Jacks for 150, and Ricky Williams for 888,000 coins. Oh yeah, and I also forgot, uh, we got an EA play pack bright and early in the morning and I ended up pulling the Jerry Sneed 89, which I sold later for 225K. It's a pretty good day for packs, if you ask me. The math isn't exact, but we made an estimated extra profit of around 1.4 million coins by quick selling and re-rolling rather than just lazy selling the 83s and the 85 training investments. The 84s we ended up selling for an average of 29.5k, making 6.5k minimum per every 84 we sold after tax, which was around 80 total 84s. The only purchase we made all day was Aaron Rodgers for 200,000 coins, and let me tell you, Using a Slinger 1 QB opens up an entirely new version of Madden 23. I can actually beat the Blitz now because my quarterback does not have a 5 second wind up when throwing a 2 yard out route. It's a blessing. But that was day 1, it was all about liquidating our investments, I made one little purchase of that Aaron Rodgers. It's now time to upgrade the team. Friday rolled around and before we got into the upgrading we did sell off Randy Moss for 325k because I knew he would eventually be replaced by that 90 overall Michael Crabtree. Our coin total reached just over five mil as we were able to sell off all of our 84s. And with the boost of the reroll luck, we got really an estimated amount of 2.3 million coins profit off our investments from last Saturday to Friday. The other coins, because remember we started really at the 2.2 mark, we're now up to five mil. The other coins from like the Sneed and we also sold some other team members like Moss and Amani. Also by waiting just one day, we were able to save quite a bit of coins when completing both the 90 Derek Johnson and 90 Crabtree set. We ended up buying the 87 overalls I won for BNDs, under 135k for the first set, which included Panay Sewell, Allen, not gonna say his last name, Carl Banks, Garrett Bradbury, and Junior Seau. Completing the set for a grand total of 604,000 coins, also of course keeping those as BNDs. And then we did 587 sets for the second 90 overall Derek Johnson set for an average of 137k, per each 87, equaling to around 686k for Derek Johnson. The players we did the sets for were Chase Young, Sidney Jones, Gary Zimmerman, Trayvon Morg, and Will Shields. If you're curious about our BND rookie premieres, because we had a bunch of linemen and backup safeties, 
I did quick sell them for training yesterday well, on Thursday. Those actually went into a little bit of the rules. Grant Delpit was acquired via solo challenges. And then we also bought 87 Naheem Hines for 105K to be able to have a running back apprentice that lines up in the backfield. Last little thing I forgot to mention when I went back and edited this video, I did buy an 89 Tony Gonzalez for 282K to help with my new bunch West Coast offense. Here is the grand upgraded squad being 88 overall, multiple overall boosts by the way, and it is from that Campus Hero Varsity Strat card. One last sale though, we did end up selling off Bruce Smith for 415k the following day. It wasn't because I didn't like Bruce Smith, but I preferred a 1 AP unpredictable Carl Banks at that interior left end of my dollar defense over Bruce Smith, which was making him a 400k backup. Level wise, you also will notice in the top right, we are up to level 48. That is because I saved pretty much doing the competitive pass version two till Friday. So while a bunch of people were grinding their competitive pass and not getting the rewards and won't get their XP till next week, I saved mine till Friday till I made sure it worked perfectly. And when I was able to level up the competitive pass, I actually got the XP. So I was able to go from 44 to 48 really in a span of 24 hours. Finally, now we are caught up to Saturday, aka investing day where we make two major investments. The first being a brand new investment this year. So I believe we found a pretty great opportunity with some 88 overall set legends. A quick rundown of the investment. We bought a total of seven Chris McAllister's for a 194K average and five Jeremy Shockey 88s for a 107K average. The reason behind this investment is the outrageous prices of the 86 overall versions of these guys being 250k Saturday morning and now currently 160k. A little bit of a seesaw effect we actually saw last year in Team of the Week investments as the 86 overall legends, their price falls to normality. For example, the 85s and the 89 sets are 40k. The 88s are really the only card in the set capable of taking over that missing value the 86 is left behind. You need three 86 pieces, so if they drop to even just 100k, that is going to save a total of 150,000 coins at the moment from both the Shockey and the McAllister set as long as you bought them for, well, 200k and 105k for the 88s. I'm hoping to get at least 150k for Shockey and 250k for McAllister by either selling off the individual card or completing the set in the middle of the upcoming week. The other investment we made is a training one identical to last week. This week, we are buying 84s under 21.5K and 85s under 31.5K. At the moment, I've invested just around 2.5 mil in the training and I've already started super lazy selling these cards at 29.6 and 39.6 for the 84s and 85s. Hopefully we get Wildcard Wednesday on top of a guaranteed ultimate kickoff promo to give us a similar rise to the last week's training investment. That's going to be all for episode six of the No Money Spent. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace.